good old troll physics never loses its charm. This panel suggests discharging water from a tank into a water wheel, turning it to generate energy, before releasing the water into a spring system that will eventually, when it fully compresses, recoil and send the water back into the tank, thus infinite energy. Well, of course it doesn't work. To understand why, think of grippers. They are these tools people use to train their forearms. When you squeeze it, you are essentially storing energy in the spring, but for it to recoil, in other words go back to its original shape, the mechanism has to be released. If you keep holding it, it will stay compressed and nothing will happen. That's how springs work. In this case, the water will simply accumulate above the spring system and at no point will it recoil because it's not getting a chance to. The pressure is always on. If this is going to work, the spring would need to be supported by an energy source that helps it recoil once every 30 seconds or so. And even then, then you would be technically using more energy than you are generating because of dissipation. That is when small parts of energy are unintentionally converted into unwanted forms like heat or sound. But ever since I saw this, I've been thinking about one thing, waterfalls. So technically if we place the generator in a waterfall, we could be getting sustainable clean energy. In that case, we would be converting the kinetic energy from the fall into mechanical energy and then into electricity. because. According to the first law of thermodynamics, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. 